What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from the Purchase Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we had the pleasure of interviewing the CEO and president of Green Lane Renewables, Brad Duville, on the future of the renewable energy sector, specifically renewable energy gas. So Green Lane is positioned to capitalize on the growing need for renewable energy, specifically renewable natural gas. The company is in many different companies worldwide with over 30 years of experience. So without further ado, guys, I bring you Green Lane Renewables. Before we dive in this video, of course, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications for your constant daily coverage on your favorite companies, your favorite stocks, and new and exciting videos just like this one. What's going on, you guys? This is Aaron with Departures Capital. We're here with the CEO and president of Green Lane Renewables, Brad Duville. How are you doing today, Brad? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Excited to hear about your company. So you know, can you tell us a little bit first about Green Lane Renewables? Yes, yeah, so Green Lane Renewables participates in the renewable natural gas space. Uh, so what we do is we provide equipment that takes uh, biogas from various sources. We upgrade it into renewable natural gas. So biogas comes from sources such as landfills, wastewater treatment plants, uh, it could be uh, farms, uh, food waste is another uh, key source. So those things are, if it's all organic, it decomposes, it makes this stuff called biogas, which is basically a mixture of carbon dioxide and methane. So we upgrade, which means separate the carbon dioxide, we clean out the impurities, and we, we take that resulting methane, which is now biomethane, uh, and we put it into the pipeline, or we put it directly into vehicles. That's very exciting. So it's renewable natural gas. Now, is that very similar to you know natural gas and what are the current applications? Yeah, so what natural gas, the main component of natural gas is methane. Um, and so renewable natural gas, it, it captures methane from organic renewable sources. It adds no new net carbon to the environment and therefore it's, it's low carbon or in some cases it's negative carbon. It's, wow. it's the same as taking carbon out of the atmosphere. Uh, the reason that matters for two particularly large uh, markets that are important to the global economy is, is one is transportation, mainly on the heavy goods movement, commercial vehicles, marine. Um, diesel fuel dominates that market. It's really hard to come up with alternatives for that space. The number one alternative to diesel fuel today is natural gas. However, more and more it's becoming renewable natural gas because you can just you can interchange renewable natural gas with natural gas and you get dramatic carbon reductions. Um, there's, there's too few ways to do that. Renewable natural gas presents the most compelling of all those ways. The other key market is the natural gas grid. So this is natural gas that gets distributed to, to residential, commercial and industrial applications. Think gas utilities. Uh, gas utilities today provide a, a fossil fuel product in, in natural gas. Um, they compete against electric utilities. Electric utilities have components which are uh, renewable from wind, solar, hydro. People you know, fully understand these technologies. Uh, when you look at the natural gas grid, there's, there's few alternatives to decarbonize the natural gas grid. That's where renewable natural gas comes in, is to, um, is to take the carbon out of the system, but provide the same uh, fuel that people are used to and that your furnace at home or your gas cooking stove uh, can accommodate. Awesome. So, you know, Greenlane currently offers three main biogas upgrading technologies. Can we talk a little bit about what these are and how they work? Sure. So there's, there's four main ways to do this process of biogas upgrading. Uh, and Greenlane offers three of the main ways to do that. Uh, again, biogas, you have to clean the impurities <clears throat> and then separate the carbon dioxide from, from the methane. Uh, Greenlane was founded on a technology called water wash. Uh, that's a similar process to, you know, if you have a, a bottle of, uh, of uh, sparkling water, you pop the cap, it's under a little pressure, it starts to bubble. That's the carbon dioxide coming out of solution. So it's, it's that kind of principle that water wash uses. Uh, the next technology that we offer is called pressure swing absorption or PSA. Uh, that's a technology that you've got this kind of carbon media, the carbon dioxide gets absorbed into it, the methane does not. So it's a method to separate these two molecules. And then lastly, there's a technology we offer called membrane separation. It's, it's designed around a uh, engineered plastic, it's a, it's a highly engineered material. 
the carbon dioxide goes one direction, the methane goes in another direction. It's just another way to do these, um, to do the separation process. The reason we offer three uh, is that all projects are a little bit different. The technologies respond differently to different kinds of biogas, depending on the source, uh, and gets you to different pipeline specifications. All pipelines have a slightly different specification, so our job is to take whatever biogas we're given and make it meet the, the uh, prerequisite pipeline spec. Awesome, so you know, just a personal question to build on that last question. Um, have you guys had success you know, implementing your technologies in different markets or which markets are you guys in currently? So we operate uh, globally. Uh, the main markets for us are North America and Europe. So our headquarters is here in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, our second office is in England. Um, we've been around for about 30 years, which is a long time in this space because yeah. uh, there hasn't really been a space for that long. Um, and, and we've had um, great success with the initial technology. The, the most deployed and most popular technology to date is the water wash. Um, we added PSA technology about 10 years ago, and more recently we offered the membrane. Uh, we've deployed more of these projects than anyone else, over 110 into 18 countries. Wow. Um, and we're just getting started. So the market's just starting really to get awareness of the renewable natural gas opportunity. I'll give you one example. Uh, SoCal Gas, who's the gas utility in Southern California, they're the largest gas utility in North America by, by volume. Uh, they announced a commitment uh, last year to have, of all the gas that they provide in their jurisdiction, uh, 5% of it would be renewable natural gas by 2022, 20% by 2030. Amazing. That's, that's relevant to GreenLane because we were the first company to provide the equipment for the, the first commercial project to inject into Southern California Gas's network. Like all things in California, it's, they have a stringent uh, specification that we had to meet. Uh, we were the first to do that. So it's really global opportunity. That sounds awesome. So in terms of your competitors, you know, do you guys have any competition or who would you say would be your main competition? Uh, there are others in the space. So I mentioned uh, water, water wash technology. We do have a, a competitor out of Sweden who offers water wash. Uh, they're called Malmberg. They operate uh, just in Europe. We have um, Air Liquide is a, is a customer, uh, sorry, a, a competitor of ours. They are a very large company. They're an industrial gas company, and they have a small division that does biogas upgrading. Uh, we have uh, other competitors that offer some of the other technologies of PSA and membrane. Uh, Zbeck is one that, uh, that may be familiar to others. They're another Canadian company, uh, also trading on the, the Toronto Venture Exchange. Okay, great. So you know, what sets you apart from the competition? Well, the main thing that sets us apart is our approach on having multiple technologies. Uh, we long since learned that each project's different. It needs a different approach um, uh, as it relates to the price or the operating uh, characteristics uh, and the methane recovery. Uh, so we offer the multiple technologies to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. I think the second thing that sets us apart is that we have deployed more of these systems than anyone else. Uh, typically, customers look for someone that has a long track record of success in this marketplace, and, and GreenLane offers that. Yeah, I definitely think 30 years is quite some time, so that definitely shows something. Um, so if there's one thing that you would want shareholders to know about the company, what would that be, or the most important thing that you would want shareholders to know? Well, there is a, a movement that's happening in terms of, uh, obviously, the uh, reaction to climate change and greening of uh, various uh, enormous energy systems that are important to the global economy, transportation, and, and the gas system being one. GreenLane is a pure play uh, as it relates to renewable natural gas. That's all we do. We live or die by the success of this market. Uh, we think it's a new market. It's, um, it's trending up. It's getting that awareness and people, we're seeing more and more commitments to this space as uh, every month passes. Um, so one thing that investors should recognize with GreenLane is if you look, are looking for exposure um, to this space, uh, GreenLane is a pure play. Look at Air Liquide by way of example, a very large company with a small division that does that. You can't get at that as an investor. Great. So, you know, I just have one last question on the energy sector in general. Coming from my perspective, you know, I invested in nat pure natural gas companies, non-renewable, like non-renewable and oil companies. So from an energy interested investor, someone who wants to get into energy, you guys are a renewable company. So 
what's your outlook on the sector and where things are, are kind of going and how you guys fit in that market? Well, obviously, there's a tremendous reliance on, on the energy system. Um, if you think of ways to deliver energy to most all things, uh, residences, businesses, uh, industrial applications, you can only get it two different ways today. One is through the electricity grid and the other is through the natural gas grid. Um, so it's really important, the fact that today the electricity grid can be green and is being green through wind, solar, hydro, geothermal. The natural gas grid is essential to drive the carbon content out. So renewable natural gas does that. I already talked about transportation being the other key sector for that. Um, we have to get the carbon out of these systems. And, and there's, um, you know, there's many people that are recognizing this. So if we take, for example, uh, Larry Fink back in, in January through his, uh, his shareholders letter, had talked about the importance of driving carbon out of the, the energy system. And, you know, that caused a, a lot of interesting um, outcomes. So, for example, a few weeks later, Microsoft, they had announced that they were going to take initiatives to drive all the carbon out of their business cumulatively or to address the cumulative emissions that they've released uh, since forming as a business uh, uh, from the beginning. And they'll do that by 2030. So these are some pretty bold actions that are being taken on top of what, uh, uh, both uh, individuals and companies are doing today voluntarily to meet their sustainability targets. Awesome. Yeah, I think you guys offer a really unique opportunity. So in terms of, you know, shareholders, people who are interested in the company, what's the best way to get in touch with the company? Yeah, the best way is through our website, greenlanerenewables.com. Uh, we have the contacts uh, link on there, uh, sales contacts, but for shareholders, uh, we use Insight Capital Markets. They're our partner in this area. All the contact information is there. All right. Well, thank you so much, Brad. It's been a pleasure. Excited to see the company grow and excited to see, you know, this market really develop. Like I said, I think it's a cool opportunity. And we're excited about it as well. Thank you very much. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the company, about the opportunity. Of course, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and that's it. We're out of here. Always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. We'll see you guys in our next video.